Callum, obviously the result of the weekend, there were some times where probably, you know, things felt a bit nervy. How was it for you, especially given it was your, your first game of the season? Yeah, obviously it was a it was a tight game uh, for me. I was more worried about my lungs more than anything, to be honest, going into it. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I was pretty confident. Like, I thought we played some good rugby. For a lot of the game, we were on top so far as possession, territory and momentum. Um, and they possibly did some, did some good stuff to score some tries. But uh, to be honest, I was confident when Brett stepped up. Uh, I was never really in doubt. And has that always been the case with Brett? Is he one of those players? Because obviously you talk about some of them, I suppose Wilkinson was probably one of them back in the day, but then you always kind of look at certain players and say, he's the person going to get us over the line. Yeah, so Brett, I feel Brett played really well controlling the game and sort of marshalling the team as a good 10 does. Um, and he's done it a few times, kicked us to win the game and done it. I remember Wasps away the year we got relegated. Um, he stepped up in those times and kicked before. So yeah, I've always got confidence in him. And obviously you mentioned that you're worried about your lungs. Is that kind of the last thing you wanted going into a game kind of end of February but actually it had been quite warm and you're thinking to yourself I'm going to have to do some running here especially on the on the turf uh, to be honest like going into the game it wasn't too bad but 20 minutes up I looked at the clock and I was like for a close half time and that um, but no like it was uh, it was enjoyable I, I like playing running rugby out as everyone and everyone enjoys watching it so it was quite quite a nice opportunity to get back out there and real really the only chance we've had some good weather to play in so yeah, it was a good game to play and it was a good game, obviously, probably to watch as well, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, it, the weather was definitely contrasting to the weeks that we've seen Mark out there on the shovel before the game, with the shovels before the game, trying to get all the snow to the edges and everything like that. But, you know, for, for yourself, you've had to watch a lot of those games from the sidelines or probably even from home. Um, how have the past few months been getting back from that injury? Uh, yeah, obviously, it came a not great time. It was after... Lockdown, done a long pre-season, then we had an internal game and I done my knee. Um, it's not how you want to end the pre-season, how you want to start a season, but it was one of those things like, it's it frustrating, um, but the lads, we've been playing fantastic, obviously. Um, first first wins of the season, obviously, start the season real well, and it's obviously frustrating, you want to be out there, but the boys are playing really well, and you just want to support them as much as possible as well, because it's it's a one-team thing. Um, everyone buys into it, all about support, and everyone for a performance on Saturday, no matter who's out on the pitch. Yeah, and I was going to ask about that because obviously, you're, as much as you were, you know, you're very much part of the team at that, during that start of the season, you're still kind of a bit apart, if that makes sense, because you're not actually allowed to be in the midst of it every week and you, you might, you will take part in the, in the kind of the anal analysis after the games. What, what do you think was the real kind of driving factor behind that start of the season? Uh, I thought we had a real good pre season. We were lucky enough, obviously, coming up from the champ. Um, that we got a lot, well, we got a decent pre-season, whereas other teams obviously only had those three or four weeks to sort of get their fitness back after after restarting the Prem. Um, it gave a great opportunity for someone like uh, Nick Easter coming in to to put a stamp on what we want to do in our defence. We changed our attack up a bit, um, allowing us to, to practice that and do that. So I think it just gave us time to sort of put things together and work on things we need to work on and come together as a team. We obviously got some new players in this year, so... Uh, it just gave, as I said, just a chance to sort of mould things together ready for that first game. Yeah, and I, I mean, I did a tweet, I think it was on Sunday, it would have been Sunday, I imagine, and obviously one of the things that people don't tell about me is, is that I grew up in Morpeth and Pontyland for a lot of my life before moving down to the Midlands. So I, funnily enough, started my club rugby at Pontyland as well. And I mentioned the club, and obviously I know it's where you started your rugby. It's kind of, I believe, uh, is it your brother or your cousin, I think, plays for the team still? Yeah, my brother still plays for the first team, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, when you're going through all this, you're fortunate enough to get to play every week, and you're obviously very closely connected to Pontilan still. Is it difficult for them, I mean, knowing that they're kind of itching for a game, but they get to support you, I suppose, is the other side of that? Yeah, well, obviously, yeah, I imagine it's real frustrating for them. Obviously, as you say, we're in a very fortunate position of, still being able to play. Um, but yeah, a few of my mates still down there who I played with when I was at school as well. And obviously they for sent through messages, family I've obviously with me getting back playing and happy to see me back playing. But yeah, imagine for everyone grassroots game, it's it's real frustrating at the moment. Um, so much is playing, then also half it's the beers after, I imagine it's also frustrating the can't do that at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm sure at some point, hopefully they'll be back playing soon, no doubt. It's just hopefully trying to keep them afloat while that happens. Yeah, and I mean, I think personally, I don't know if it's because I've, I've lived in the area, but when you look at a lot of clubs, you often see there's plenty of lads that have moved literally hundreds of miles in some cases to play for sides and then they're, they're classed as grassroots. But with you guys, it seems like that's a bit different in that 
you know, you're you're literally from up the road. I know that, you know, plenty of lads have come relatively short distances in order to play for the club. Is that a real thing where you guys can look around and say, you know, my dad played his dad and, and so on and so forth? Yeah, it's obviously we've got a real real contingent now of lads from this area, which is quite nice. Obviously, our group coming to watch the Falcons play um, and I've been a part of them is quite, it's quite special. I think there's that feeling amongst quite a few of the lads. Um, obviously, you have lads from overseas as well who are fantastic players, but it's different playing for your home club, I think. Um, it's sort of the pride in it and obviously wanting to win hometown sort of feel, um, which is quite nice. And I think Dean's got a big push on that as well, uh, which obviously helps the club and helps the drive of the club. Does that? I was going to say, does that add a lot of kind of, I suppose, self-confidence knowing that you guys are, are Newcastle, I suppose, is probably the way I'd phrase that. Uh, yeah, I mean... It's probably a phrase that's used quite a bit, that Northern grit. Um, I think we've got a bit of that, which is quite nice to see because obviously things aren't always going to go your way. Um, as you've seen a lot of our games, a lot of them being been won sort of last five minutes, last few minutes of the game. But I think we've just got a habit now of grinding stuff out and winning games in that sense, uh, which is quite a nice feeling to have and a confident feeling to have. Yeah, and you go into, well, it's the Northern Derby. We talk about Northern grit, it's the Northern Derby. With that kind of tag given to it, does that give extra motivations to be, I mean, I'm going to use a Game of Thrones reference, but King of the North? Um, we did speak about it. So, sort of, yeah, so sort of that's all King of the North thing. It was one of, our, one of the things we spoke about as our target for the next couple of games. Um, but for us, it's just it's just sort of like, it's just another game. We just focus on sale, not really about where they're from or who they are. We focus on their strengths or weaknesses like every other team and how we're going to exploit those um, and what we have to obviously bottle up on their front. Um, in the sense of King of North, yeah, th- th- there's that little bit, it's a bit of a short travel, which is quite nice uh, sort of thing. It's always went Manchester, so that's, that, that's not always the best. But um, but yeah, obviously heading down there, hopefully with a big win at the weekend, big physical team, we know, we know we're going to deal with. And is it a different challenge this time? Because obviously they've got pretty much an entire new setup, haven't they? Probably a different way of playing to what maybe what I'd be recognising. Is, is it a different challenge to the one you faced a few months ago? Yeah, it will be. Yeah, they're obviously playing quite well at the moment. Being at Exeter last week, uh, Alex Sanderson coming in, they're a bit more aggressive so far as defence, a bit more confrontational. Um, but there's nothing... These They also provide opportunities. Um, and the things that we've spoken about so far as what we need to do in a... Uh, how we're going to exploit those is, you know, so as you say, they are a better team, but there's still those opportunities there for us to take. Yeah. And obviously recently you, you got back, you scored your try. Is, is it for you now just building on that and trying to kind of become, I, I suppose, consistency because, you know, one game isn't consistency, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's exactly that. Yeah. We've obviously got some fantastic back rows here. Um, we've got people like John Hardy, Will Sosway of England, Gary has been away with, um, Scotland and Phil Welch yeah, the list goes on Connor Collett um, so for me it's just hopefully getting a good run of games and as you say playing some consistent good rugby um, it's a great opportunity now while those a couple of those boys are away at international duty and injured um, so try and put my foot in that door at the moment and keep my starting spot that, that's the idea yeah 